Um, hello everyone, it's Ham Easter time, and um, today I didn't go to school. I actually came down with a little cold yesterday, and uh, um, sorry if my voice sounds a little froggy or scratchy. Um, it's just my throat has been really hurting, and it's all like scratchy up and stuff, so yeah. But today I totally forgot it was October 1st, and I was like, oh shoot, I have to do a video. Because if you remember this, the first one was how to keep your hamster warm in the winter. So, yeah, and as you may know, I am wearing the same shirt as in the other video, but I did change my pants. <coughs> and the reason why is because it was just yesterday when I came down with it and I didn't want to change because I was feeling really sick and drowsy. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So first... Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is apply three or four layers of bedding because you don't want your hamster to get too cold or they can go into hibernation. And, uh, <coughs> second, you're going to want to add something like tissue, toilet paper, something like that. Rip it up and put it in their igloo or Heidi log house, whatever it is. Uh, you want to apply a thick layer of that, too. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> next, if it's, like, really, really cold, if like, Alaska cold or Ar Antarctica cold, um, you're obviously going to need a heat lamp. Uh, so, like, my hamsters are on my dresser, my mirror dresser. So, like, it's the dresser with six drawers. I think you saw it in the other videos. And then it has a giant mirror. So, like, what they have these clamp things at the end because we have turtles and snakes. And uh, we use heat lamps for them. So, you clamp it onto something. So, like, mine, I would put it at the very top of my dresser because you don't want your hamster to get too hot. And you don't want them burning themselves. So, obviously, you're going to put it somewhere high. Because the light bulbs have high voltage, and yeah, uh, and they have this little wire thing, so you can go lead to like control where it goes, so like it's straight, and then like you can bend it to go that way or this way or that way, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, you don't want it to be too close because you don't want the surface of your hamster's cage to get too hot, and you don't want them getting hurt or like like stung. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is really bad, too. Ow! <coughs> so, um, what you're gonna also want to, uh, be sure they have enough food. Because, like, if you get, like, a flu or the cold or something like I did, uh, yeah. You, you're probably not going to want to be touching their food, but I have a video in my October 2015 schedule about how to treat your hamster when they're sick. So, yeah, be sure to check that out when I upload it. <sighs> so, the next thing <clears throat> you're going to want to do is make sure your hamster isn't by a window or anything because, like, as it... Well, like, in the winter when it... Because eh. when, like, the weather is gets really hot, I mean, when it gets, like, really cold, you'll notice the foggy, the cold, foggy stuff starts to appear on your window, and the window is cold to the touch. Same with the summer. It gets, the window gets super hot. At least mine does. <laughs> but, yeah! So... Uh, yeah, you don't want them being by the window, the window, and that is, uh, oh, wait, um, if you, like, wake up and your hamster is, like, shaking, and obviously they're breathing, you're gonna want to, uh, re take them out and put them in a blanket and, like, cover them up with, like, a bunch of thick layer of blankets and give them, like, a treat or something, uh, like a sunflower seed or something like that just to keep them calm and know that they're in good hands uh and if like you wake up and your hamster's like not moving you can't really see it breathing it's probably just because he went into they went into hibernation he or she uh 
but that is totally fine because to make sure if they are in hibernation, you just want to open your cage and or whatever, and uh, you want to th put some bedding, gently put some bedding, a thick layer of bedding on <clears throat> of them and on them. And like us humans, we have we can add a bunch of layers, but unlike them, they they're tiny, they're they're little hamsters or rodents. This goes for all rodents, so like rats and mice and stuff, if you have them. But <clears throat> yeah, you just and like they'll be shaking and stuff still. So yeah, they're just trying to gather up a bunch of uh crud. A crap load of bedding, crud, crap, whatever. Um, but yeah, you don't want to throw it at them. You just want to simply just place it on them, and yeah, also give them a treat because that'll make them feel more secure, knowing that you're gonna take care of them. And they're gonna be okay. So, yeah, that is all for this video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Hammyster Time. Bye.